Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 1 of chapter 6. Determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. The two external forces are given to us as 45 kN and 30 kN. So for trusses we have the option of method of joints or method of sections. We are going to solve this problem by method of joints. So we need to draw the free body diagram of joints. We are going to start by joint C because there are only two unknowns acting at joint C. I have the external load, which I have the magnitude 45 kN. I have the forces of member CD and also forces member CB. I can select my coordinate, x and y. If I write summation of forces in x, I have only one force in x, that means that FCB would be zero. Summation of forces in y, therefore FCD would be 45 kN. In addition to the magnitude of the force, I need to determine whether my member is in tension or compression. So because our member FCD is here and the force that we found is going away from the member, therefore our member is in compression. The other way to look at it is that FCD is the force that the member is acting on the joint. So the force that the joint is acting on the member would be the opposite side. That means that our member is in compression. So now that we found forces in member CB and member CD, we can analyze joint D. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram of joint D. We could not start by joint D because we had three unknowns. But now that we have solved one of the unknowns, we can draw the free body diagram for joint D. I have the external load, 30 kN. I have force F, CD, because it's in compression, so it's going away from the member. I already found the value to be 45. Then I have FDA as well as FDB. Sometimes it's easy to identify what would be the direction of the forces and sometimes it's not. Uh, we can assume a direction and if we get a negative value that means that the direction that we assumed is incorrect. Remember that the negative value does not mean our member is in compression or a positive value does not mean our member is in tension. And negative and positive signs only indicate the direction that we assumed in free body diagram is correct or incorrect. So I select my coordinate system, FDB, if we look at the image, the triangle that I have is 1.5, 2, or I can think of it as 3, 4, 5. So that's the same as 3, 4, 5 instead of dealing with two 1.5 and 2.5 triangle. So I can write my summation of forces in X and Y and find the unknowns. I start with summation of forces in Y because that gives me only one unknown. I have FCD, which is negative 45, minus three over five, FDB equals zero, therefore the value of FDB, I can find it to be 75 kilonewtons. Newton. So the value that I find would be negative, that means that the actual direction would be the opposite of what I found in my free by diagram. So the actual direction would be actually the opposite would be towards the member. That means that the, the value that I have would be in 
attention. So my member would be in tension. Now I go summation of forces in extraction. When we find a negative value, we don't want to go to our free body diagram and uh, change our free body diagram. We keep it as negative, and then when we look at the free body diagram, you know that the value that the direction that we assumed is in correct. So summation of forces in x, I have 30 kN. I have FDA that I don't know the value. And I have FDB. So I have negative... And the value that I find uh, for FDB is, is negative as well. So that's, that means a positive 75. The horizontal component would be 4 over 5 equals 0. So FDA would be 90 kilonewtons. Because FDA is going towards the member. Uh, so the it would be yes, it's going away from the member so it would be in compression so we have member here action and reaction so it would be in compression so by f the first free by diagram i found two forces i didn't write tension or compression because it's a zero force member and by second free by diagram i found the other two forces the negative signs indicate that the direction I've, I assumed here is in correct. It doesn't mean anything about tension or compression. To find tension or compression, you have to look at the location of the member. So we identify the magnitude and also whether our members are in tension or compression.